Welcome back guys, going to be doing another sea trout session today uh, I'm waiting for my friend Lewis, who only stays two minutes away from here He's never caught a sea trout before, so I'm hoping today I messaged him saying to come down and see if he wants to give it a go But hopefully today, be able to get his first sea trout, hopefully I mean, the conditions are looking absolutely peak Like grey skies, flat calm water And I've also seen some movement on the water within the last 20 minutes of being down here So, that's half the battle Realistically in the next probably hour or so when the tide starts going out hopefully we'll start getting some hits but again with sea trout fishing it's so unpredictable you never know we'll just have to give it our best and hopefully get loose a sea trout today there we go guys look at that lovely conditions there's got to be a sea trout looking about there somewhere or hopefully a shoal as i said i'm going to be using the lures today just use my 17 gram Auburn Finesse rod and we'll be using the white Savage Gear Seeker looks absolutely tidy I reckon that is the potential to catch a nice sea trout but as I said guys it's so unpredictable hopefully there's a show kicking about hopefully they're there but we'll just have to try guys see what happens Uh, see if you do come across any rises, Lewis. Because uh, a lot of the time, sea trout will, if they're there, of course, they will probably make their presence by rising. So it'll just be like a kind of little circle okay. sort of thing. So if you do see that, and hopefully we do see that today, uh, try and make the most of it, mate, because there's only a, there, there always seems to be a time period where they kind of disperse after a while. So once you see the activity, yeah. you want to try and get in, ab get in and about it, basically. That's it mate. Again, just before you got down, I did see a few rises just over to the left hand side there. So somewhere. They are somewhere mate, they are somewhere. Always. Hopefully we can get yourself a sea trout. That would be ideal today. But sometimes it's easier said than done, isn't it? It's about covering as much ground as possible basically. Yeah. So if we start here, like we have done just now, we can always move around to the right, keep moving every cast sort of thing. Because you could you could sit here, but theoretically you're just waiting for a show or a sea trout to come by if you've already covered the area. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? But we have all the possibility of catching something, mate. Literally just got a ride, well, a following, sorry. Literally, I just, me and Lewis kind of locked eyes there and we're like, oh, is this the day? <laughs> I'll get it back out there and see if it's uh, still looking about. But it was definitely a sea trout following with the swirl it made. Well, that's good signs, mate. As I said, the conditions just look so good. Yeah, it is. I think that's something said by many. <laughs> <laughs> There's supposed to be a bit of sun outbreak later on today, right enough. Yeah. Hopefully that doesn't impact the fishing. Sometimes it does. That was a hit. Yeah. Take it again, take it again. Ah. Ah. Two hits, mate. Two hits. Oh, man. That is a good sign, mate. <laughs> See if we'll hit it again right enough, but now nah, there were two good hits there. Oh! Jump yep. over to the left hand side of me there. I'll get my lure out there. 
a little shoreline cast. There you go. Seem very small right enough, but could be a shoal here. Huh? I said there could be a shoal here if I was getting two hits there and then a jump over to the left hand side. Good possibility. Right. Well, we fished over to the left hand side there for a good 45 minutes. Got two hits, seen a rise. Uh, unfortunately, didn't get anything. Uh, so, obviously, whatever it was, it was obviously sea trout, but the shoal's dispersed now. So, we're going to move down to the right here, just try and cover a bit more ground. What do you think, Lewis? Sweet. But uh, the amount of times that I walk across shorelines to try and find activity is unreal. You can literally do maybe two and a half miles a day. <laughs> it's crazy, but I'm always on the assumption you need to scout the area, basically. You need to try and find oh. them. Plus, gives us a good bit of exercise as well. This bit of walking won't do us any harm. <laughs> yeah. uh, I feel a sea trout today, honestly. I feel one. Mike, rises. Over this here. Big silver eyes, man. Huh? So, like, it lifted its body up the water, caused a ripple, but I seen the silver of its body. Yeah. Uh, probably about two rods distance over there. Yeah, because it's, like, it's like a random place for like a wave, man, and I seen the silver. And it was a circular rise, so I was like, it's got to be. Yep. Yes! Yes! Oh, lovely. Oh, beautiful. Lovely. <laughs> nice catch, mate. Look at that, guys. Lovely, beautiful fish. Oh, got it. There we go. There we are, guys. Look at that lovely fish. It's nice. We'll set him away. There you go. Oh. Little man, careful. There we go. There we are, guys. See you later, little man. Nice, mate. Well done. Oh, guys, I think that's coming to the end of the session now. I had plenty of followings, plenty of hits as well. Just didn't get a connection on any sea trout today, unfortunately. But thankfully, Lewis got his first sea trout of the season. So, hey, exactly. Trout, That's it, mate. So, did you enjoy it then, Lewis? <laughs> Literally. <laughs> but, uh, it's quite. It was a good day, but. Had outbursts of sun, bit of rain, bit of cloud. Yeah, uh, west. proper west coast <laughs> weather. <laughs> Unpredictable. Unpredictable. But yeah, it was pretty good. Enjoyed it. But at least you got your first sea trout, which is good. Yeah, many more to come, hopefully. That's it, mate. We'll get back out when we get time off work. Yeah. But it looks like a blank for me today. But anyways, hopefully you guys enjoy the video. I'll see you guys in the next one.